unwavering friend. That's how the Richmond Fire Department is remembering Battalion Chief Bobby Duffus. The veteran firefighter died suddenly one week ago. And as our Shannon and Lily explains, after spending his career saving lives, Chief Duffus still is. We have a saying, the doors go up, the doors go down. They're going to keep going up and they're going to keep coming down. We just have to keep coming to work and doing it for Bobby. In his 21 years working for the Richmond Fire Department. My name is Kurt Gran. I'm a fire battalion chief of the city of Richmond Fire Department. Chief Gran says he's known battalion chief Bobby Duffus for more than 15. I was lucky enough to be a lieutenant and he was my battalion chief at the time. And in that time, Chief Gran says his boss became more like a brother. I would come to work or he would come in and I'd say, you didn't have anybody mark off today. And he's like, that's because I breed a work environment of enthusiasm, Kurt. <laughs> so he was always making jokes, but he was very passionate about his job. A leader and mentor to many. Chief Duffus spent decades with the Richmond Fire Department saving lives, but on Sunday, he lost his own. But it's, it's been difficult for all of us. Chief Duffus was scheduled for surgery on Friday at Chippenham Hospital for an off-duty injury, according to the department, but suffered a medical emergency passing Sunday night. On Monday, his wife, daughter, family and friends gather outside Chippenham Hospital, a flag raised to signify one final gift. And then the next day when he was taken to the operating room for the, uh, the, do the donation to, to do the organs, they call it the Walk of Honor and a bunch of people lined the hallway that he was rolled through into the operating room and I was there for that as well. Even in death. That's just the way he is and still giving. The Richmond Fire Battalion Chief still saves lives. It just goes to show what kind of person he was and if I can be half the leader and chief he was I'll be a good person. Now in a statement the executive vice president of LifeNet Health says Chief Duffus's selfless decision to be an organ and tissue donor will help change countless lives for the better. His funeral is set for next week.